What? What? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. What up tubers, Bunny here and this week's video we're back with Kerbal Space Program. So in this episode I decided to go ahead and create an airplane whose first stage is propelled by solid rocket boosters. I call the rocket the Elytrum E-51. To make a fake history short and sweet, Elytrum is the name of an imaginary aerospace company founded by Mr. Elytrum. I'm not going to go into much detail about that guy because I haven't thought about much detail about that guy. Anyway, now I could go on and blab about the Elytrum E-51's flight profile, how it's supposed to take off going to space, but I show some footage at one time speed at the end of this time lapse, which demonstrates what the flight path is supposed to be. Now I supposedly recorded this video while doing some interesting commentary, but apparently I forgot to make sure that my microphone was working while playing the game. I forgot again. Uh, sometimes I am an ignorant bunny. <laughs> now this time lapse that you see here is the original almost raw recording of the video that I had made. Only it's sped up four times or eight times. It's four times if it's showing a launch. And it's eight times while showing the editing. Now I'm pretty sure that's everything that I have to explain about the Elytrum E51 and this portion of the video. So I'm going to shut up for a little bit and show you more of this footage and then some of the footage showing the last test at the end of this time lapse, which as of that recording was the most successful test. But it takes an interesting turn, I'm gonna warn you. Alright, I'm showing up now. See you in a little bit. Two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Elytrum E-51 on its fifth test. Vehicle is now gaining altitude. T plus 15 seconds. Vehicle status is nominal. Vehicle is now supersonic. T plus 30. Shutdown and detachment of ventral and dorsal boosters. Vehicle is now traveling at Mach 2. Clean separation confirmed. Miko, stage separation and second stage engine ignition confirmed. Vehicle anomaly. And given the situation that this anomaly is putting the vehicle into, I am calling this mission status as E1. Repeat, mission status is E1. Vehicle is now losing altitude. Vehicle is transonic. Hey boss, don't you want to call a self-destruct? Sorry kid, I can't do a self-destruct on this vehicle. Why not? You don't believe in self-destruct? Oh, I believe in self-destruct alright man. The thing is, is that the game does not believe in self-destruct. If it did believe in self-destruct, I would probably just blow this vehicle up by now. Oh, okay. Vehicle is past Mach 3. We've just had Seco. All team members, be advised as this vehicle is crashing, 
remain at your console until further notice. Repeat, remain at your consoles. Vehicle will crash in three, two, one, impact. I say hey, you say ho. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, that would be ho, ho, ho. But it's not Christmas. Oh well. Anyway, I'm back. So what I'm going to be doing right now is making a few fixes to my spacecraft. And that'd be a problem. Mm. I'll do this. If I don't, I will regret it. What was that? Alright. Ignition, ignition, ignition. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, then the dorsal and ventral fins separate. I think I'll also ditch the wings as well. So then that leaves this booster, which needs a little bit of help on its way. And I know just what to do, I think. Let's see. 0 0.5 to 0 0.4. I need as much wing area as I can. Ooh, 0 0.61. If I place it there, I think that will be far enough back. And I think that should provide all the stabilization that's needed. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and launch. I'm kind of short on time, so let's go. Okay, we're getting a little bit of a flappy flap. Flapping like a lazy rabbit. And if you haven't seen a lazy rabbit flap, you really should. It is adorable. Now, without further ado, go for launch of Elytrum E51 Flight Test 6 in T-10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Commit lift off. Do we have lift? No! <laughs> Give me more altitude, and I think I should be able to launch. What? What? Okay, this is my last test. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to call it for today's video. Three, two, one, zero. Commit. Lift off. Please have lift off. That's it. I ran out of time. I'm just going to have to leave this vehicle for another video, which means this is going to conclude this week's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. So long for now. India Alpha Bravo checking out. God bless.